video is going to be a one brand tutorial on Wet n Wild. I really just wanted to do this video because I obviously love Wet n Wild. I use them all the time in my tutorials. When I was doing my boyfriend filmed my makeup, or when my boyfriend does my makeup um, video, he was like, they should be sponsoring you. And all of a sudden I was like, I think I could do a full brand of them without even going and buying anything. So I did my, I went out and purchased two products that I realized I didn't need, that I would need for this look. But other than that, I already had all of these in my collection. So this was just super fun because these are all products that I use on a daily basis and that I really love and I just wanted to show what a full face of um, just like really affordable drugstore makeup could look like. So this is the look that I got. Um, I really like how it came out. I think it looks pretty good. I would say especially for being as affordable as it is. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Alright guys, so to start out this tutorial, I'm just going to be going in with my Wet n Wild Coverall Primer um, for my face and just going to be rubbing that all over. I did go ahead and just moisturize my face with my normal primer that I normally use, so that's already done and has dried. So this is going to be my first step that I'm going to get started with. Please excuse the fact, like, I don't know if you can see, I have like black all over my face still. I tried to take my makeup off and like I'm using different wipes than I'm used to but I have my cellar water and things and I spent like 15 minutes trying to remove my makeup and like nothing is coming off anymore but I can see that there's still like residue on my skin so anyway please excuse if you're seeing that I don't know what to do about it I'll try and get it off later tonight but I don't know what else to do about it so anyway like I said I'm just gonna go in with this primer and just get this all over my face. Gonna say wet and wild because I know I'll be like wet and wild, wet and wild this entire video, so I'm gonna try and cut that down to a minimum. Um, so I'm gonna be going in with my Photo Focus foundation in um, this shade Shell Ivory. I really like this foundation, however, I do notice that it tends to get a little cakey looking on me sometimes a little cakey and a little um, just kind of like mask like looking. So I notice I have to really moisturize my skin before I go in with this for this to actually look good on me. Um, so anyway, so I, like I said, I, I've already moisturized and that primer is semi-hydrating, so hopefully this will turn out okay. This foundation actually does have like a really strong paint smell. I don't know, I don't know what that is. I've never really touched on that before, but it definitely does actually have like a semi-strong kind of like chemical paint smell, but it still doesn't bother me. I still actually like it. So I and I'm just going to be blending that in with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender with my um, sharp edge side. And this is actually a brand new sponge. Um, so with that being said, whenever I use a brand new one of these, I have to actually use a lot more foundation probably just because it doesn't have like a little bit of that base same when I like wash them but I didn't notice especially when it's like a brand brand new sponge I just have to use a lot more foundation that first time just to maybe like get a little bit of like seepage in there I don't know that sounds weird um, but I am going to go back over with like a little bit more um, just because this I normally would put on about that amount of uh, foundation and it would have built up like a higher coverage than what's on my skin right now so um, I mean, I'm just going to go back and kind of do like another little bit of a layer all right so now that I've got that all blended in I'm going to be going in with a mix of two concealers. I'm going to be going in with the wet. I'm going to be going in with the um, Photo Focus concealer in the shade Light Ivory again, and then this is actually my favorite out of the two of these. This is the um, Come Correct. Um, celebrity concealer and this is in the shade fair um, I like this one a little bit more it has higher coverage than this one does I just find that this one I d I'm okay with this but I find that the coverage isn't great and I find that just like the consistency is a little I don't know I do like this one I like the photo focus but I don't like it as much as the come correct I just find this is a little bit more brightening and has a little bit more coverage to it so I'm gonna be kind of like mixing these two together a little bit I would not highlight with this this is also why I'm gonna be <laughs> mixing these two together I really just like this for the under eyes area I am I'm going to be using this one more as like the like highlights because it isn't as like thick so you will see kind of what I'm doing. And a little of this goes a really long way so what I'm actually just going to do is I'm just going to put this a little bit on my finger and then just dab it a little bit under my eyes because you do not need that much of this. It's very thick and very full coverage. Okay, 
so now that I have that all blended out over my skin, I'm just going to be taking the Wet n Wild. Oh my God, it's so hard. I'm just so used to it. Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild. Um, I'm so used to just saying it every time. Um, I'm going to be taking my Photo Focus pressed powder in the shade uh, Warm Light. I love this powder. I've already raved about this on my channel a couple of times. I really, really love this powder. I'm just mainly going to be taking this and just dabbing it right where I kind of put that concealer. Because that concealer is very thick, this kind of just helps actually set it down. And then I'm going to be taking um, the Mega Glow Contour Palette Kit in Dolce de Leche. And I'm going to be taking the light shade and just dusting that right underneath my eyes. I love this shade for brightening under the eyes. I just think it's such the perfect if you're fair skin. It's the, probably even if you have like medium skin tones, it's a perfect shade to um, lighten the under eye. I'm just going to take this going to take this shade and kind of dust it on those highlighted areas. I don't know if you can see the difference there, but it definitely just gives the skin kind of like a nice little bit of shimmer left like back to it um, since that natural finish has kind of been taking away. Taken away. I'm just going to really lightly kind of just dust this. Bring my skin back to life a little bit. There we go. So I don't know if you can tell, it just adds like a really natural kind of like shimmer. So, And this is, I mean, it's a really, it's supposed to be a bronzer, but I mean obviously it's so light that it could be, this can kind of be done and obviously it doesn't have any kind of like warmth or anything in my skin. So next I'm going to be taking that same um, contour palette and just taking that dark shade and very lightly this palette is very pigmented. Like you have to be so careful with this because it picks up so much product. So very carefully just going to um, kind of lightly contour. take a big fluffy brush and take the color icon bronzer in the shade ticket to Brazil um, and this is a kind of like darker a little bit but this is also a really good bronzer for pale skins because it's not too um, it's not too dark of a color I feel like it's actually it doesn't get too crazy it does have a little bit of shimmer in it but it's nothing too intense and I feel like it's not too orange and it's not too dark of a color for when I'm like this color I don't use this normally like during the summer times because it's not dark enough but right now it's a really good color So now that we've added a little bit of um, life and definition back to the skin and the face, uh, I'm going to go in with my Color Icon Blush in the shade um, Rosé Champagne. It looks like this. I have already talked about this multiple times on my channel once again because a lot of these products are holy grails for me. Like they're, they're products I pick up every single day and then I want to use like on a daily basis. It's kind of where I got the idea to do this video because I wanted to do like a full face brand of like drugstore. And if I had to pick one drugstore that I have like more products than anything, um, like one line, it's going to be one wild. So anyway, that being said, I'm just going to be taking this on a big brush and putting this right on the apples of my cheeks. said it once and I will say it again I love this blush so much I think the color is so beautiful I hope you can see I hope it picks up on camera just how beautiful it is it's such a it's one of those shades I just think that every skin tone I mean unless you are deep deep skin tone I think that every skin tone skin I think that every skin tone can use this I just feel like it's a really universal shade and I think it just goes great on everybody so I love this blush so much all right, and last thing to finish up the face, I'm going to be going in with an oldie but a goodie. This is my uh, To Reflect Shimmer Palette in the shade. Uh, I am going to totally like a boozy brunch. It used to be called, um, what was it, Rodeo Drive, I think, or something, and then they changed it, so it's not called Boozy Brunch, and I'm just going to rub this right on. Can you see that? Like... Such an amazing highlight. I forget about it sometimes because I used to use it all the time and I kind of like stopped picking it up all, as much as I used to. So, so, so beautiful. It does, I will say if you have really big pores, this does tend to slightly emphasize pores is what I've noticed when my skin isn't like the best it's ever been. Um, I don't reach for this as much, but I still just love it. I just think it, it's such a pretty like undertone. Like it has those really pretty champagne gold um, undertones, which is kind of like my favorite highlights. And what I do like to do with that, um, with that particular highlight, 
because like I said, um, it tends to be just a little bit more for emphasizing as I just take my beauty blender again and beauty sponge and go back over just a little bit and help kind of like really work it into the skin. So now that the face is done, um, I don't have a ton of Wet n Wild eyeshadows. Um, however, I do have this little, um, I don't know what you call this, I guess just it's a palette. Um, however, all of these are shimmers, which, I mean, the crease and the definer are both, it's what they're written as. They're both shimmers as well, so you know, we're gonna just play around with a few things and kind of see what we come up with. But there's a very good chance I might actually use a little bit of this shimmery shade in my crease, which I never do, but. I'm actually going to go in, we're getting a little creative here. I'm gonna go in with my blush actually in the um, Rosé Champagne and I'm actually just gonna put that all in my crease as like a transition color. It's actually turning out pretty nicely, so. This is what I meant by getting creative. I'm gonna use these and a couple of my like bronzer and contour palette shades to uh, help me out here. I love doing this kind of stuff like, Get creative with your with your like different products that you have like who like most of the time I feel like no one would be like oh let's use like a brush as a transition shade but like it's not sparkly it's not shimmery if you were in a pinch it's a very neutral shade that kind of works as a transition shade so like get creative sometimes you know you never know what you might find that you really like I feel like that's how some of these holy grail products on YouTube have started is when people kind of did something really different all right, so now that I at least have a little bit of this transition shade, I feel like I can work a little bit better uh, with these shimmer shades if I have to. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in with the um, this little guy and I'm gonna put this shade right here. It's this really pretty kind of like, once again, champagne-y kind of like pink tan shade. And I'm just gonna use my finger with this. These these shadows are some of the creamiest shadows I felt. Like I own like a Marc Jacobs palette and this is one of the like creamiest shadows I've ever felt in my life. I love this palette. So much, so I'm gonna just actually go all over my lid with this. So then I am just gonna take this brown shade right here. Um, it says it's the crease shade. This is doesn't look like it should be a crease shade. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. It's very shimmery, um, and I've never actually touched the shade before, but. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna take a really light hand and just kind of go right in that outer corner and see what happens. Okay, so it's not coming off super shimmery in the crease, which is nice. So I can definitely, definitely work with this. I'm actually gonna pack that on just a little bit harder. I was thinking of going in with the very bottom one, but that looks way more shimmery. So I'm actually just liking I'm liking the way this looks, so I might actually just pack it a little bit more in that outer corner and then just uh, call it a day. And then I'm gonna go back with that same brush and just blend, 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 blend. Now I am going to go ahead and take um, some gel eyeliner. This is the uh, cream eyeliner in Carbon My Reach. I'm gonna take this and just like clean a liner brush and go ahead. I think I'm gonna do a wing today, I believe. Like always, I don't know why I'm kidding myself or like I'm saying that as if I didn't plan that because I always wear a wing, almost always. So this might be a little hard to do on camera so I will try and show as well as possible but I'm pretty sure my camera might go out of focus because um, I'm gonna have to get a little closer to try and do this. I'm not, still not a total pro when it comes to my eyeliner. I still have to get pretty close into the mirror so that I can see what I'm doing, so. We'll see how this turns out, but I might actually just cut this out altogether. I apologize if I have to. Okay, so now that I have my eyeliner on, I am going to go in with a new, like, favorite product that is already a holy grail for me. This is my... These are the On Edge Longwear Eye Pencil. So I'm gonna go in and just line my waterline really quickly. I'm going to take this definer shade and smudge that out underneath my eye just because I feel like it would be really pretty kind of like under the eye color. So I am going to do that really quickly um, just with like a small smudger brush. And then I am just going to take this brow bone highlight and just kind of like dab that in the corners of my eyes and then under my brow bone as well. The next two things that I am going to do is I'm going to take my Wet n Wild, I got away with it for a while, 
Wet n Wild Lash Pro Photo Focus Lash Primer. Um, and I'm gonna be taking this as my primer, my top coat, or my bottom coat. And then I'm just gonna be going with my Lash Princess. I'm sorry, like, I have not found, as much as I love Wet n Wild, obviously, I'm like promoting a whole video about them. As much as I love them, I have not found a mascara that I like that they do. I just don't like them. I do really love this lash primer though, so I'm gonna be going in with this first. And then I'm just gonna do a couple coats of my Lash Princess, just cause like, I just love this stuff. And there's like other mascaras that are better. I mean, I could be using something else too, but that's my favorite. So. So now that I have a couple coats of that one, I am going to be going in with some false lashes, but before I do that while I'm waiting for my mascara to dry, I'm just going to go in. I don't have any brow products from Wet n Wild either, um, I just have a company that I super love. I think they have one brow pencil that I actually bought at some point, but it's so, so for me, so I don't have one that I'm like super crazy about. So once again, I'm getting creative, and I'm just going to be going in with this contour color. I think it's actually kind of close enough to my brows that it should be pretty well good, and it's definitely a hot course match. So I'm just going to be going in um, and filling in brows slightly with this powder. So I'm pretty okay with the way my brows turn out, especially for using a contour powder. I feel like they look, I mean, would I do it again if I had like other brow products with me? Eh, probably not, but for the fact that it worked, it worked. So I'm okay with it. So what I'm actually going to go do now, a big thing I've been obsessed with is taking um, lashes and actually just trimming off like the outer like corner of it and actually just applying that. I'm one of those girls, I really love my natural lashes. I think that they look pretty good most of the time and like false lashes can be uncomfortable to me. So I'm actually just going to trim up some lashes and take like that outer corner and just plop them on the outer corner of my eye and call it a day for lashes. But I am gonna do that off camera. So I'll do that and then I will do that for the last step of this look. Okay, so now that I have those on the outer corner of my eye, I don't know if you can tell, this has been like my biggest obsession recently, because I love really just like the look of like having those natural lashes on the inner corner, and it just adds that little bit of drama on the outside of your eyes, and just kind of gives you that like really nice cat eye, especially with the um, winged liner. I love doing this, I've been doing this a ton like recently. Um, so now that those are on, um, the last step of this before I'm all finished is I'm gonna be taking my, um, I'm gonna be taking my Mega Last lipstick in the color Sandstorm. I have been obsessed with this. It is such a beautiful kind of like red color, but it's not too red. It almost, I've talked about this before, it kind of can almost, you can get away with this almost looking kind of like a natural lip, but it's still kind of like that burnt brick red color. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna apply it all over my lips. All right, and this is the finished look. I really love this. This is something that, this is really similar to things I wear on a very daily basis, to be honest. It's the neutral eye, but I did just want to show how cheap it can be to achieve like a look that I really love this. I think my skin looks great. I think the rest of my makeup looks great. And it's all really affordable. I mean, I think probably the most expensive product I used today was maybe like $8.99 because it is all wet and wild. Like they barely sell expensive products. Everything is normally really affordable from them. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.